Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Point of Sale System Testing webcast series. I am Divya Madan and I head the retail testing practice at Aspire Systems. In the previous episode, we discussed about the manual testing challenges surrounding the point of sale systems. And in this episode, we are going to talk about the solution to overcome such challenges through test automation. Before proceeding further, I would like to thank all of our viewers who took out time to write back to us with their questions. Let me try to address their queries in this episode. It is proven that automation testing has an edge over manual testing because it provides enhanced test coverage, saves manual testing effort, optimizes the cost, gives objective testing evidence in the form of customized reports, allows easy defect tracking through faster troubleshooting. In order to save the manual testing effort, building a sound test automation strategy is paramount. And in order to implement this test automation strategy, a well-designed test automation framework is required. Now let's talk about the manual testing challenges one by one and see how we can leverage test automation to overcome them. The first challenge that we discussed was the long testing cycles. Here I would like to say that if we automate the test cases, it automatically helps to reduce the regression testing cycle time. Instead of days of manual testing effort, the automation scripts can be executed in a matter of few hours. Moreover, you can also schedule your tests in non-office hours and when the stakeholders return to work the next morning, the test execution results can be found right in their inbox. Talking about the rapid technology advancements, this challenge can also be effectively overcome by using an automation framework. The framework needs to be robust enough to accommodate quick and easy modifications in the scripts. It should be designed in a way that it is highly customizable and configurable to test the workflows of different configuration settings in the point of sale system. Now, let's move on to see how the test automation framework can help in the backend verification and the missing transaction validation. The automation framework can be developed and scripted to do the backend verification as well. The scripts can be written to validate the data through the journal and the back office applications. The engineer can incorporate the automated verification points in the scripts to confirm the generated receipt of the transaction. The scenarios covering the peripheral devices like scanning a barcode, swiping a card, pin pad entry, etc. involve human intervention. Such scenarios are difficult to automate, but through automation, the testing of peripheral devices is possible to a certain level through simulation. Like I said earlier, most of the retailers are now moving to mobile point of sale systems. The effort of testing increases because now the testing has to happen on desktop and mobile combinations. Test automation can help to provide an integrated solution to test the mobile and desktop systems using a single test automation framework. Finally, I would like to convey that in order to make the framework handle the complexity of the point of sale systems, it should be built in a modular fashion so that it can be utilized to test these systems with ease. Hope I have answered all your queries. If you are looking forward to address a specific challenge, please feel free to write to me at divya.madan at aspiresys.com or you may leave a comment below and we will reach out to you. In our next episode, we will talk about the test automation strategy and how to implement a test automation framework using the right set of tools. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned.